What is up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny5Alive here and we are back with another Park of the Week video. Now we're going to change the name of this series to Park Spotlight because there are just too many good parks to review every week to only do one a week. So in today's episode we are going to be checking out Minas Tirith, capital of Gondor of Lord of the Rings Middle Earth by Maestro. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, if you guys do like this video and this series, please be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe for more Park of the Week, Coaster of the Week, and Ride of the Week. I should call them Spotlight. I gotta correct myself here. And uh, yeah, let's let's dive into it. So before we get started, let's just do a little shout out. This is Minas Tirith, Capital of Gondor and Lord of the Rings and Middle Earth by Maestro. The link will be down in the description below. Come give this guy a rating, drop him a comment. And for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings fan. I love I love the movies, but I'm not like a huge nerd. This is Minas Tirith. I don't know if I'm saying that right. My apologies. And so I guess the idea, the concept for this is a big giant piece of land built into a mountainside and a city all the way down almost like a multi-tiered cake before i get started i have to mention let's let's set the time of day to 12 here this crashed when i loaded it up so if you're having troubles with this you might want to lower your graphics first i have a pretty high-end gaming rig and this thing is super laggy on my machine i even turned down the graphics and it's still a bit laggy so i pretty much turned down everything to medium or low and except for the anti-aliasing so uh, if you hit the pause button it seems to run a little bit better Better. So this thing is an absolute beast. I don't even know where to start with this and my apologies if the frame rate or the the camera the camera in this game is a bit jerky i mean even when i'm just doing these little tiny videos for just a single building the camera seems to jitter i don't know it's something that the dev team needs to work out i guess but it's a little bit of a jitteriness so we might have to go in pause mode just so we get a little bit smoother because when when everything just starts moving and they got all these moving parts and animatronics it seems to get a little bit laggy because this thing is just so crazy let's do it like this let's just look at the overall arching park because this thing's huge so he's got the big piece of terrain coming down with the multi-tiered cake kind of thing going here and it's built into the side of a mountain so everything seems to be pretty spot on he's got a little almost pirate village thing going on over here i guess he's gonna have some kind of coaster coming out of there this thing is a mass this thing is massive oh that's the eye what's this the ion of sauron or whatever very cool so some very neat castle pieces going on here. A monorail coming through the mountain. It's got a village up here. This thing's crazy. Really crazy. So it's unfortunate that when you start making parks this big and this crazy that the game starts to tank a little bit even on good gaming machines. It's just, it is what it is. So you gotta try and keep your parks to a minimum, but you know, I don't think all this stuff on the outside was necessary and on the top. I feel like the park being this alone would have been a great park in itself and it probably would have helped optimization in the frame rate. So let's enter the park. So he's got castle walls going around the whole outside. Dun da da da. Very cool view. So this is the plaza center area. Got some fountains. A little village. Which way do we go first? Oh my god. A ride. It's got the Death Star from the Steam Workshop. Let's just kind of... I guess we're going counterclockwise here. Let's take a look through the village. A chapel. A little coaster. Now... There's probably a lot of coasters in this park. I don't really know. We're going to have to take a look. And some of these are Steam Workshop. So we're not going to ride the Steam Workshop coasters. We're going to ride only the custom coasters built by Maestro. So many details here. Little village. Looks like a lot of this stuff is default. This kind of feels like a custom house. This is neat. Look at this. What's this ride called? Magic Cats? It's going around a little castle. This little area here reminds me of that game that came out not too long ago. That puzzle game. Oh, what was it called? That's going to bug me. Look at the details here. I, I felt like my game was about to crash there. 
I'm worried because when I did first load up the game it crashed or the park I should say look at the view of this monster castle this is cool I don't know if this is a custom castle or if it's a steam workshop castle seems like it's a workshop castle because it's been placed improperly very cool Oh, look at this little guard tower. That's cool. Holy moly. Ooh, staircase going up. Where does this go? Let's go in the tunnel. Oh boy. Vroom. Work in progress? Oh. oh, wow, we're in like the Shire now. Holy crap! Good googly moogly! Oh my god! I, th I think I've seen these on the workshop. Oh my god! It's the Shire! This is amazing! I love these little thatch houses. Little hobbit houses. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, a little fry shop on the side of the hill. Oh, this is amazing. I'm seriously going to get lost, guys. Do we, do we check out the whole Hobbit place? Let's get a better view of the Hobbit's town. Oh, there's a ride here, too. So there's a little roller coaster. We're gonna have to ride this Hobbit coaster. Wow. What's over here? And more tunnels. Oh, it's lagging out. I really wish we could experience this on full graphics with everything on play mode. My apologies everybody, but I guess my supercomputer just ain't super enough. One day, computers will catch up to this game, and this game will run flawlessly on every computer. So that's that's one good thing about this game, is it's, uh, it's ahead of its time. It's almost too good for most computers. So, as technology gets better, this game will only get better. Map sizes will increase, optimization will improve, and uh, yeah. So we have a little western town over here. It's pretty random, but cool. Oh, this is neat. Did I did I look at this? I guess I'm gonna get lost. Start looking at things from different angles and different views, and it feels like it's new again. So that's the Shire. Wow. And we just what the heck? How do we get over here? Huh. Seems like there's a... Supposed to be a pathway going through this mountain. How... How are we supposed to get over here? Holy crap! So this is like the, um... The Elven Village. So he's putting all the different themes in. Wow! Holy smokes. Whoa. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words. I love the pink trees. It's so fitting. Holy smokes, look at this tower. Purple and white, very good colors. Now this thing is a little bit crazy. I don't know how we're supposed to navigate this. Um, there's a little bit of a problem here. Nonetheless, it looks good from a distance. Are we supposed to be able to go in here? This is nuts. 
Okay, maybe not. Just just for looks, most of this. I don't think this is uh, fully explorable. But looks amazing from a distance. Look at that. So we have the Elven Land. We have the Hobbit Land. Wow, let's see where this goes. This one might be a little bit of a longer video, guys. Whoa! I'm gonna get lost in this place. This brings us to almost like a mage's shrine? Mage's tower? I don't know my Lord of the Rings as well as some of you guys, so sorry if I sorry if I screw things up. Alright, so we explored the right lower section taking us over to this place. Let's zoom back to the entrance and let's hit the left side up and then we'll start working our way up this tiered mountain. Alright, time to check out this side of the park. So we got some rides over here. Now I will do a glance over everything in the end and we will ride the coasters. Oh, this is cool. This is where we're going to need to take to go up. Seeing these items in the workshop. Lots of workshop items. I mean, he's going to need something to fill everything up with. Because building this thing piece by piece is a little bit too ambitious. Wow. Nice little village. Western, pirate. It's on this side. Some more rides. Ooh, let's take a look at this. The forge. Is this a ride? Okay. Pathing has some issues. Okay, it's just a regular ride. This is very cool, though. The fountain in the center. Very nice. Holy moly. Sorry if I'm missing any details, everybody. Uh, doing my best here. Very cool castle. Now, there's a park over there. We're going to go check that out next, I think. I really feel like we're in this theme park going, What do we go see next? What do we look at next? Okay, let's go check this out. This is so crazy. All right, we have a little carnival. Wow, I love this garden. This is amazing. So this area is a little unfinished, but that's okay. Go into the the harbor. Oh, cool. Very cool. I love these little towers. This thing is amazing. Now. A lot of the things I'm saying are amazing. I'm going to assume that there are some other people's creations from the Seam Workshop. It's really going to be hard to tell what's Maestro's and what's not Maestro's. These umbrellas are brilliant. So, regardless, Maestro built the park. He placed the objects. So, we're going to credit the placement and the design to Maestro. But a lot of these items seem to be workshop items. This is very nice. I would love to know what is in here that's Maestro's. Very cool. Now if you guys do have a park that you want me to review or check out for the spotlight, or if you have one that you've created yourself, you can send it to channel 5 GAD, G-A-D. Uh, link will be in the description below and you could send me your parks, coasters, and rides and maybe we'll do a review on them. This thing is crazy. We might have to ride this one. I don't know if that's Maestro's or not. So, holy crap. Did we walk right underneath this and not even see it? My god. This thing is madness. Look at the spirals and the kinks in it. it. Looks like it could use some help from the smoothing tool. 
We're gonna have to give that one a ride, I think. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We're gonna come up these stairs and go start checking out the next tier. Oh my god. This, this video is gonna be like an hour long. Oh, thought we were crashing again. I mean, I got this the graphics down pretty low and it's, it's tanking. See, that? that's one thing that would make me sad. If this was my park and people couldn't run it, make me very, very sad. But we're getting through it at a decent quality. My apologies if the frame rate isn't perfect. Holy moly. General store. Cannonballs. Oh, look at this. There's a catapult. Oh my god. That's brilliant. Oh man. I gotta spend more time looking through the Steam Workshop because I've been basically just looking at sci-fi stuff, but there's so much good fantasy stuff out there. I can't wait to make a castle park. Fairy tale land. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Now, are we missing anything again? No. Alright. This is so hard to navigate, guys. This is so many nooks and crannies. Some of it's a little bit messy in terms of pathing and how people navigate, but that's okay. Overall, everything from a distance is very cool. Alright, let's go up. This takes us to the next tier. I feel like we're still missing stuff. I mean, this the navigation is impossible. This thing's cool. Some coaster planet stuff. Planet coaster stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> this is pretty random. Now hopefully I can get through this whole park without it crashing. I'm going to stop the recording after we've looked at the park and then start a new one while we ride some of these things. Might have to ride this monorail as well so we can get a better look at everything. There we go, into the cave. Where are we going? Now, wait, 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 wait a sec. Is this the top tier? It goes up more. Oh my god. Alright, well maybe this will take us there. Look at these paths. I didn't even know you could get sideways paths like this. Holy crap. Oh my god. Look at this wall. The presence of this park is just insane. There's way too many pieces in this park. This is crazy. Now, I'm assuming, like, there's a lot of things in the ground and hidden and... I feel like there's better ways to get this park to run properly and smoothly with a little bit more careful placement and utilization of things. Uh, nonetheless, it would take too long to try and get it optimal. You just gotta go with things and hope for the best. Look at these little guard towers. My god. All right, well, how do we get to the next... Oh, here. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, we might have to go up after. We're going to go down. See where this goes. Okay, so... Oh, my Lord. So that takes us back down. We've seen that area. 
Okay, we've seen that area. Okay. So we can go up now. Up, up, up. And then it takes us back into the park? This thing's crazy. Like, there should be notifications saying guests are getting lost in your park. Like it did in RCT1. They really need maps in this game. So, what? Okay. I don't understand the pathing in this thing. Okay, we gotta see what's down here. Oh my god. Okay, it's just a cave. Monorail coming through there. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Okay, we're going this way. Oh. Uh... My goodness. We might just have to... Wow! It's a log flume! So, this is like the village people's area. Kind of... More modern feeling buildings. Modern for that time, I should say. I don't even know if that makes sense. What am I talking about? This is madness. Might just be losing my mind. Holy moly! Um... Yeah. I'm starting to understand why I needed to lower my graphics. There's so much in here. What? There's a roller coaster here? And we can see the Eye of Sauron from here. Look at this view. This is crazy. I feel like we've come a long way, guys. My legs are tired. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to be a long episode. Hopefully you guys are... You got some popcorn. You're comfy. There's so many details that I, I really can't catch it all without this being like a seven hour video. This is definitely something that you're going to have to download and really look over yourself. This feels more elven again. Elvish land. Very magical. So many good like feelings as you're coming through here. I don't even think we saw this. Like every angle, we come from a different angle and we discover something new. I know there's like the top of the island that we haven't seen yet, so how do we get there? I guess it's this tunnel. Going on up. All right, this must be like the last part and we're gonna zoom back out and make sure we didn't miss anything. And then we're gonna ride the coasters. At least the ones that I know exist. Interesting. A lot of random paths, but very cool nonetheless. Alright, let's keep going. Ooh. Little entertainers. It never ends. It never ends. Ooh. Can we go to the edge of the... Okay, this goes through and up. Oh, I wanted to walk to the edge of the tower. We're gonna do it. Woo! If you guys don't know, you can hold shift to speed up the camera while in free look mode. We made it to the top, guys. Looking at the recording, it's been 28 minutes. I might chop it down a little bit, so I don't know what time you guys are at. But it's been at least 20 minutes, and we finally made it to the top. Look at this. Ooh, he's got like the elevator ride, or the screamer, whatever they call it. Oh wow, spiraling staircases. Because that's not hard. 
Oh, wow. I was being sarcastic. Okay, a little bit glitchy in here. <laughs> we got dancing walls. I don't, I don't even know what to think of this. This is insane. Oh, game's crashing. Ugh. Every once in a while it just freezes up. Okay. Are we supposed to come up here? There's an entertainment stand. <laughs> I guess you have the princess up there. Wow, look at that. Oh my god. Am I doing this properly, guys? I, I, don't, I don't know if I should be zooming around like this in first person or... I don't know. It's a process. We're learning how to explore these parks together. I hope I'm doing all right. Hopefully no one's like yelling at their monitor right now. Look at this. I mean, just as a, a spectator myself, I, I, I'm just trying to explore this the way I would look at it, but I don't know if it makes for good, uh, I don't know if it's good on your guys' end here. I'm, I'm trying. This is crazy. So, I think we've looked at everything. I think. I'm really second guessing myself. Let's change camera view here. Okay. We looked at that. We didn't look down here. But this is incomplete. I love this wall system. This is nice. Hmm. All right, we did it. We did it, everybody. Look at this crazy park. I'm exhausted. All right, we're gonna have to ride a couple coasters here, guys. Hopefully they don't lag out or crash. There's this guy. Let's do this one. What's this called? The Madness. Hopefully it's not too laggy. My apologies, guys. It's a bit laggy. I might have to turn the graphics down even more. Woo! All right, if we're gonna ride more coasters, I may have to drop the graphics a bit more. Oh boy, looks much different now. Oh well, so we have this crazy guy over here. Let's ride this. We've got the graphics to the lowest minus the aliasing, and it still seems to be a little bit frame laggy. What can you do? This ride looks cool though. Here we go. Okay. I think the lift speeds can be increased, which they're... Oh. Looks like there's blocking sections. This coaster cannot move until the next coaster clears a certain section. I'm not a big fan of this style, unless it's done properly. Here we go. Oh, what the heck is going on? Oh my God. Uh, this will break next. Oh my goodness. This is a dangerous ride. This ride definitely needs some help from the smoothing tool. Oh my god, I regret going on this. Oh, this is cool. Oh boy. This is certainly not going to be a fan favorite. Um... This, this seems like it injures people more than it does give them excitement. Okay, this part's a little bit better. Oh, it's not gonna make it. Oh, barely. Okay, 
I'm interested in making one of these coasters now because I want to see how smooth of a ride I can actually make it. Because it seems like you could make uh, some really cool designs with this one. If, if done properly. Oh. It's a little bit herky-jerky for me. Oh, look at that ending. Ugh. Okay, uh, I expected a little bit more from this. It, it, it got some terrible ratings. <laughs> People will not go on that coaster. Uh, holy moly. Okay, let's give this guy a little ride. Woo! Oh, completely sideways. That's an interesting take on a wooden coaster. People might go flying out of their seats on that turn. And this turn. <laughs> I think you're supposed to turn inward, not outward. That's interesting. It'll be pulling people out of their seats for sure. So, I wonder what he called this thing, because this is completely backwards. What's it called? The Argus? Interesting. Okay, uh, is there any other coasters that we're missing? I know there was one back here. I don't think we're going to ride the Log Flume. This may be a Steam Workshop item. So maybe we'll do that in one of the Ride Spotlight videos. It seems to be running a lot better now. I should have lowered the graphics for this. Well, you know what? Even though the graphics were up a little bit, it's probably better to see it with better lighting. So I don't regret it. Let's give this guy a ride. A little kitty coaster. The dragon! Let's go in third person because the dragon's kind of in our way. Kitty coaster. There's a kitty coaster like this in my uh, local theme park. And I remember riding it when I was like 13 or something and I was terrified. <laughs> For whatever reason, I think it was just like, I felt like I was going to fall out of it. Maybe I was too big for it. And I will not go on those, uh, those mouse coasters, the, the little minecart mouse coasters. I think I've ever heard a story of a kid falling out of one and uh, just been scared to go on them. They're too herky-jerky. And they're so high up usually that... You're just in these little tiny carts that you'll fall out. Barely gonna make it. We're barely gonna make it! Oh my god. <laughs> it's a little bit stiff, isn't it? Feels it's gonna like break. <laughs> My god. It's not the smoothest kitty ride. Poor kids. This one could use some smoothing love too. Very kinky. Watch your heads. Even on the lowest setting we're seeing the game uh, freeze up. This park is just crazy. Alright, so I think that's all the coasters. There's the monorail. I mean, we could give the monorail a go. I'm curious to know where the monorail goes. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go in fast forward mode and we'll just kind of ride the monorail. Let's put it in test mode. See where this thing takes us. Choo choo. Ride right through that crazy ride that nobody wants to go on. Up onto the second tier. Where's the next station? Gone through half the park. Through a tunnel.
Is it going to take us to the top? Maybe it's just like a ride. It doesn't actually take you to a station. Seems like I'm right. That's a bit disappointing. I was hoping it at least would take you somewhere. Huh. That's it. Okay, so it's more like a ride than it is a transport. So I think that's everything. Those are all the coasters. I, The park itself is amazing. It's got so much detail. It, it suffers from optimization though. It's a little bit too much in this park for the game to, to manage. It could use some better coasters. This is Planet Coaster after all. There aren't really any good coasters on this one. The overall arching design is fabulous. I love it. I just wish it ran a little bit smoother. Uh, like I said, as PCs get better, this game will also get better. So this game is going to be a long-lasting game for the next decade, I believe, at least. So well done to the maestro. All right, so everybody, once again, that is Minas Tirith, Tirath, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, by the maestro. Link will be down in the description. Give a, come give this guy a rating. Maybe check it out yourself. Hopefully I went over it enough for you guys hopefully you got to see everything and be sure to lower your graphics a bit before you load this one up because this one took me like 10 minutes to load up on an ssd with a pretty high-end gaming rig so very interesting so if you guys like this video please be sure to like subscribe and comment all right guys i'll see you in the next episode